welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm going to be decorating this old mobile home for Christmas. So if you're interested, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video. How are y'all doing today? Wherever you are in this big old world, I sure hope you're having the best day ever. We're doing pretty good. The boys and I were pretty sick over Thanksgiving, but we're feeling much better now. Thank you all for your well wishes and positive vibes. They were very much appreciated. Well, Thanksgiving has come and gone, y'all, and Christmas is right around the corner, and I'm so excited. Christmas is my favorite time of year, and I can't wait to start decorating. All my decorations are down in North Carolina in storage, so I've been slowly collecting some decorations over the past few weeks, and now I'm ready to start decorating. But first, I'm going to make some cinnamon rolls and some easy sugar cookies to set the Christmas mood. The cookies are in the oven. I'm cheating today by using these pre-made sugar cookies. You just open the package, throw them on a pan, and bake them in the oven for about 10 minutes. And then you have some quick and easy, yummy, delicious sugar cookies. We'll be baking cookies from scratch as it gets closer to Christmas. But if you want something easy to satisfy your sweet tooth, then these cookies are a nice alternative. Alright, well while they're baking, I'm going to go start decorating in the living room. But first, these pups want some back scratches. The cookies are ready, so I'm going to pull them out of the oven and then bake the cinnamon rolls. And while they're baking, I'm going to go start sorting through the decorations to try and figure out where I'm going to put everything. I'm going for a country Christmas feel, but gnome inspired. I love gnomes, and I found some really cute ones to use this Christmas.
ordered this five foot Christmas tree from Amazon. It's a little smaller than I expected, but I think it'll turn out cute. It's a pre-lit tree and it has several modes for the lights. I'm going to keep it pretty simple by just using some ball ornaments and a garland. I found a really cute Christmas gnome tree topper at the Dollar Tree that I'm excited to use. Y'all, I totally got distracted with the Christmas tree and forgot all about the cinnamon rolls. They're a little on the dark side. Dare I say burnt? Well, I ended up throwing these out and making a new batch. Alright, well let's go finish decorating this Christmas tree. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoes, baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you It. I think it turned out really cute. Now I'm going to go unbox my family of Christmas gnomes that we bought at the Sam's Club. 
I normally have a traditional Christmas tree that we would decorate with our family ornaments, school ornaments, and the kids' handmade ornaments. But I wasn't able to get down to North Carolina where everything is in storage. So I found these plastic ball ornaments at Walmart and thought they'd be perfect. I'm decorating on the Sunday right after Thanksgiving. It's not even December yet. I think this is the earliest I've ever started decorating for Christmas. I usually start right after the 1st of December because we're usually out of town for the Thanksgiving weekend. And that's just usually the way it works out. But this year we're stuck at home and I was bored, so I figured why not get a head start? When do you all start decorating for Christmas? And when do you start undecorating? Do you wait for New Year's or do you do it right after Christmas? I found this wreath at the Dollar Tree in their new Dollar Plus section for $5. I thought it would be perfect here in the kitchen window. I ordered two more wreaths from Amazon, one for the front door and one for the wall under the blessed sign.
white Christmas, y'all. I've decorated the same space for the past 23 Christmases in our old townhouse. It's been fun getting to decorate new spaces here in the trailer. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for Santa tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. It's much later in the day. It's really cold outside and also really windy. We've lost power at the trailer, so I've had to take a break from decorating. I still need to decorate my bedroom, but I'll have to wait for the power to come back on. We went to pick up pizza for dinner, and we got back just in time to enjoy this beautiful, cold mountain sunset and have a little visit with Milo. The power was out for several hours. I don't know what we'll do if the power goes out in a snowstorm. We bought a pellet stove to use here in the trailer, but I didn't know that pellet stoves require electricity, so that's not going to work when the power goes out. The pellet stove will cut down on the electricity, though. The neighbors here in the mobile home park have said that their electric bill jumps up to four to $500 a month due to running the electric heat nonstop. So the pellet stove will not only help keep us warm, but will also help us save money on the electric bill. Now we'll just have to figure out what to do when we don't have any power at all. We have a Mr. Heater portable propane heater that's safe to use inside, and we'll probably pick up a kerosene heater. Now that we have power again, I can get our room decorated. I found these king sheets at Ollie's for $19.99. You can't see it so good, but it has little white reindeer all over the sheets. Perfect for a Christmas bedroom. covers and pillow inserts from Amazon so I'll be able to change the pillows out for each season just by buying themed pillow covers.
I also bought some new curtains. I wanted to replace the curtain over the closet because it just doesn't match anything, and I ruined one of the white panels that's over the window by sucking it into the vacuum cleaner. So I bought new white curtains for the window, and I'll use the remaining good panel to go over the closet. Just a few more finishing touches and I'd say it's complete. I tried to keep it simple in the bedroom. I didn't want anything loud or obnoxious in here and I think it turned out really nice. enjoyed the video. I sure had fun making it. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for another one. I hope to see you in my next video. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!